Hello beautiful family in the light. So much love to all of you. Reverend Honeybee here and thank you so much for being on my channel. Subscribing, making your comments and turning that notification bell. Really appreciate it. So I just wanted to come on and share something very important. In this past year that I've been facilitating the Ascension Alignment private healing session via Zoom, one of the most extraordinary experiences that I've seen over and over and over from client to client to client, whether it's a female client, client in a female form or a male form or, you know, another embodiment, it doesn't matter. There's been one thing across all, and it just so happened these are the clients who are of quite a bit of higher conscious. They've done a lot of the labor of love, the inner work, and, and there are just some areas that mm, has had a bit of uh, friction and they were called to my Ascension Alignment um, session that's typically done once. I may go into twice about a month later, but really the way it's designed is to truly give you back to your power, go to an area that's been um, this energy has been sort of stored in your mitochondria and release that so that you can experience the openness in your plasma light body so that you can just go. But what's so key is in this embodiment of ascension, what, why this embodiment can't quite take place is because of what is stored in this mitochondria that has to do with experiences that we as children experience in our earlier years that um, still, still been running the show. So let me adjust this for a second. It's been running the show. So um, that total liberation in those victorious wings cannot come online because the pain body kept signaling, the pain body kept signaling. And this was also my own experience. Years and years and years of deep trauma releasing, inner work. I'm in advanced meditation, breath with the breath, super advanced with my clients. And what I teach with the ancient sacred breath of the master wills from 75,000 years ago and some of these other areas to help the breath move things. It's profound it's incredible yet there's this one part that it was even within myself that two years ago was brought to my attention that I had to sit I had to go meet the energy and motion within my own mitochondria so that I can release it out of my body so it would translate being released out of my photonic body into these other bodies and move out of the pain body. That pain body is a key so that the signal within my template can shift. So I, I, I did that directly by receiving guidance from my highest self how to do this. And then from there on, I was able to assist others. And within that, I taught this specific meditation for 30 days, then 60 days, 90 days. So we went through it, meeting these energies in motion. Then now I'm on to this place where it's really taking care of the plasma light body through this bio field alignment meditation. And in the, in the private sessions that I'm having with this Ascension alignment is to align in Ascension, it requires embodiment. The embodiment can take place where the signal has shifted, but you can't get to the signal when it's stored in the mitochondria. And that is tied to the child. So within my sessions, I'm able to get the individuals in this place and release it. And it's incredible. Often it's been once, maybe twice I see clients within this hour and a half, two hours, what takes place. So what I feel I'm really blessed because I have this ability to see interdimensionally through different screens. And you can look at my video about what the Ascension Alignment is. I'm able to see the records of this person and kind of pinpoint exactly what age time frame that what energy was stuck in motion, energies in motion, and that, that 
sort of like records open up some call it akasha records and that opens up within me and then i'm able to see from the ancestry line what's taking place that i'm always able to see their team of guardians especially the team of angels and ascended masters and galactics what they need to say so then from there i'm able to from a frequency take individual to a place to start moving things moving this around but by themselves i don't do it for them i help them go themselves and be able to update their software be able to shift timelines so that their their auric field the biofield literally changes so with that it changes the dna with dna changes it's able to experience more light and information the joy comes back on and a whole lot takes place and um and it's always amazing to experience <laughs> over and over and over that in which I initially experienced that everything was stored in my in my little child. And as I hugged my little child, you know, a lot of us have done that. I'm talking about years I've done inner child work. It was not the same till two years ago I did this. And then it was like a total mechanic way of navigation how to how to actually get to a place to change the software with a new software so it brings the person to a new timeline and then the old template is left behind and person moves into the new template structure so it's incredible it's amazing it's it's just fantastic being a facilitator of this and also have witnessed it within myself how my own life transformed change for the greater the joy that came up and also experiencing things that still come but my signal has changed so my response is different it's not a reaction anymore this is huge and it's moved from that energy that felt victimized because of the severe traumas and disincarnations that i chose to go through all of that changed so my outer realities change and then i i'm not looking for my outside to be able to shift the signal inside so that released a lot of um sort of um pressure from my partner so it's so liberating and that's where that victorious wings come because it feels free and it feels the incredible life force breath within the bodies that's moving in the, the signal as shift it's back into motion and and that's what the universal consciousness is the cosmic consciousness the solar cosmicness cos consciousness the galactic consciousness you get to then dab into that part of yourself and uh the key of it is this 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 incredible of the reunion with the inner child so exciting if i can be of service to you please email me uh, honeybee h-o-n-i-b 1111 at gmail.com give me about an hour and a half to two hours i don't do it for you but i'm going to take you through what you are going to do for yourself because the key is for you to be empowered but i'll navigate exactly the area that you gotta navigate in and then what unfolds so we'll see what we can do in one session it's pretty incredible very multi-dimensional and then and yet very simple right here and i'm honored this it's incredible i just finished this session again again i'm just in awe truly in awe i'm more than that to be a witness to the transformation before me and their liberation their victorious wings because that's what allows us to be as human angels here that ninth dimensional frequency that freedom so much love have a beautiful blessed day and thank you so much for watching this